We all call those tumors bladder cancer, but uh, for example, a low risk tumor would be a low grade PTA tumor with a very, very small chance of progression and maybe 20-30% chance of recurrence in a few years, which is of course not nice, but it's not threatening for the patient. If you would have a PT1 grade 3 tumor, so a very aggressive tumor, or carcinoma in situ, also aggressive, there is a reasonable chance of recurrence, over 50% in a few years, and there is a 10-20% to chance of having a progression to muscle invasive tumors in spite of therapy. Apart from that, also low and intermediate and high risk tumors uh, have a different therapy. Some are treated with BCG, some are treated with one installation of chemotherapy, some get a course of chemotherapy. So both for prognosis and treatment, that low, intermediate and high risk schedule is very important. Let's say uh, originally follow-up was cystoscopy and cytology. In the last decade, cytology already was uh, skipped in low and intermediate risk tumors because it's not very helpful. So then it is cystoscopy. And what I currently do is uh, do cystoscopy, sometimes cytology, but also um, biomarker, a biomarker. Uh, so we alternate cystoscopy with a biomarker, meaning that uh, half of the time the patient doesn't have to come, he doesn't get an invasive procedure, the urologist has time to do something different. Uh, maybe it is even more uh, 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 sensitive than our eye to see the tumor, to exclude the tumor, because those markers are very good. They have a negative predictive value of almost 100%. So if the test is negative, the chance that there is a tumor is very, very low. And that's why I started alternating that with, a, uh, with, a, uh, with cystoscopy and patients love it.